Hi, this is Brian Forster, and what you're looking at below that church in the background is the largest pyramidal site, or pyramid, quote-unquote, on the planet. It's the Great Pyramid of Cholula, also known as Tlachihual Tepetl, which is the Aztec language meaning made-by-hand mountain, and it's the largest archaeological site in the New World, as well as the largest pyramidal structure known to exist in the world today. The pyramid is a temple that traditionally has been viewed as having been dedicated to the god Quetzalcoatl. And what we're doing is <clears throat> here exploring inside the pyramid itself, because the pyramid was constructed over a long period of time and is at least four, if not seven, pyramidal structures, one built on top of another. According to sources, the Temple Pyramid Complex was built in four stages, starting from the 3rd century BC through the 9th century AD. So that is approximately, that's more than a thousand years of construction. And the excavations were done in the 1930s to expose the core or inner structure of the pyramid. There you can see a staircase leading down. And in total, eight kilometers of uh, tunnel were produced in order to reveal the layers of the core. And the material itself seems to be a type of volcanic ash. There, once again, is another one of the staircases going down. And it is a total volume of 4.45 million cubic meters, which is larger than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, which is about 2.5 million cubic meters. The Great Pyramid of uh, Giza is 138.8 or uh, meters high, or 555 feet, whereas the uh, pyramidal structure at Cholula is not as high, but the footprint is absolutely massive, and only parts of the exterior have been excavated which we're going to see after we go through this rather massive tunnel system. At its peak, Cholula had a, a population of about 100,000 people. Once again, you see more of the tunnel system there. And relatively soon, we'll be getting to the end. Uh, most of the tunnel system is locked away from the public, but we, I believe we walked at least uh, two kilometers uh, from the main entrance. The main entrance at Cholula is the tunnel itself, which is really quite fascinating. And we walked and walked and saw exposed areas of different layers, like you can see here. And there, and here the inner workings. So it's quite a labyrinth. Uh, again, you're allowed to see approximately two kilometers of the tunnel system, but it is at least eight kilometers, if not possibly even ten kilometers long. Once again, you see some of the inner parts of the earlier construction, smaller pyramidal level. And on and on it goes. Thankfully, the lighting is quite good in here. And after two kilometers, we reach the outside, and now we're going to explore 
the exterior areas that have been excavated in recent times. Most of the uh, excavations have been done in the 20th century. And here you can see just how massive Cholula is. Again, that church is on the very top of the pyramidal structure. Most of it uh, is overgrown with trees and bushes. But here we see some exposed areas. And you can see relatively small stonework used for this staircase, for example. And you have a mix of materials. You have limestone, which is the lighter colored material, and then some volcanic rock, which is the more reddish. And since it was constructed over the course of more than a thousand years by different cultures, that's obviously why you have different types of construction techniques. Some rather inferior and others quite fine. As always, what I'm looking for are possible evidences of much more ancient megalithic work, and that is what we're going to be able to see near the end of this video. So once again, relatively rough construction work, smallish stones with uh, clay or even volcanic ash mortar. And here we have a stella, which is um, evidence of Mayan influence. There's also evidence of Olmec influence, which is older than Maya. There, a very well-made staircase of smaller stones. Interesting looking depressions. Maybe those were for acoustic properties because we did notice that if you clapped your hands, there was an echo that was created inside this um, ceremonial area here. And here you can see the exterior is the limestone and then the core of volcanic stone. So the volcanic stone is from the area where the limestone came from. I was not able to find out. But this is the part that actually intrigues me the most because you can see that this is very finely constructed. And if you look at the darker stone that is basalt, whereas the lighter stone is a basalt type of, uh, of rock as well, but that's uh, evidence of 20th century reconstruction. So this, I believe, is actually the oldest part and the finest in terms of construction. Notice the staircase, the stones are quite a bit smaller than the larger stones you see on the right. The stones on the right very finely fitting together, whereas the staircase is uh, made of smaller stones with volcanic ash as a, a type of mortar. So if you'd like to meet me, please come to Contact in the Desert, May 31st to June 3rd, 2019, in Indian Wells, California. And we still have places for our tour of Turkey in September. That's at hiddenincatours.com. Thank you.